Hello everyone, this is Dr. Madhi Bose, persona and tenancy fire, global educator and founder of Alteva Spoken English as Smart Classes. Welcome to Internship University. And today we have a very, very interesting, a captivating topic, hip hop pedagogy. Yeah, you must have been afraid of, uh, you know, studies, education, and you might have felt that education sometimes is a burden, but now, Let's check it out that how can we make education so fun and we can enjoy. So here we come and let's start the topic with my presentation. As uh, we can see, yeah, our presentation, we have many topics today which we are going to talk upon. And uh, I think we are going to almost cover five of the topics and that's going to be amazing. So let's move to our First topic, like engaging ways to teach formulas to kids. And let's go to the next page. So engaging formulas or, or like, you know, engaging ways to teach formulas to kids. So here, may I request my team kindly ch uh, change the page. Here we can see uh, the, like here we are going to see here the chemical formula of water H2O. Ma'am, can we change the page, please? And as you must have heard about it, that chem uh, chemical formula of water is as two, like we always say, two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. So, uh, and when it comes to the definition, it is always the chemical formula of water as two, which represent two hydrogen atoms at, and, and sounded to one oxygen atom. And uh, like, but learning this definition is quite so boring, right? So better, why don't we learn in this manner, two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen. I can request my technical team. It is still not changed. Please change it. So, uh, so similarly, we can learn many of the formulas and there are many ways to learn uh, another, like, let me go for the, another topic, and it is something mastering the art of teaching anything through body language. You must have seen many times that in our body language, we, uh, you know, uh, we must have learned preposition, so many grammatical topics, and still we are so perplexed while learning it. So let's, what should we do is, if, uh, okay, but the, uh, I don't know that the pages are still not changed for me. Uh, Inga, ma'am, can I request you please change the page? I need page number three. Page number three, mastering the art of teaching anything through body language. Uh, we are not on the page number three. So uh, when we will go through the page, uh, mastering the art of the teaching anything through body language, it is something like we must have seen in the many images that like, you know, like people are sitting in the classroom, like we are sitting on the sofa, like uh, something is under the table, or we could say that, you know, someone is in front of the laptop or someone is behind the bar, as well as we can, uh, like somebody is next to us and something is between. So when we see these images, what happens? Um, we are not on the correct page. Uh, please change the page. I need uh, page number third, mastering the art of teaching anything through body language. But you know what? Learning from this uh, images and uh, it, it may uh, let us learn for some time, but not permanently, you know? For learning permanently, let's learn with body language. So let me teach you like how it works with the body language. So it goes in this way. First of all, if we go to like it's in, on, under, in front of, behind, next to, and between, then uh, we can do in this way, above it, below it, around it, beside it, up it, down it, inside it, outside it, across it, against it, near it, except it. So there are many ways, like, you know, when we will see in the image, so we might learn for some time, but not permanently. So 
what we should do is we should try to learn with, with our body language, which can help us. Yes, now we are on the correct page. So you can see we, it is going to help us for temporarily, but not permanently. So, but with our body language, we can learn everything permanently because our hands are always with us and our body is always with us, which could move and which would understand. Yeah, this is something. And this is how we have learned any language or anything. So uh, this is something practical. And when we are going to learn the image, it is going to be temporarily and sometimes we can even get confused. What is the bow? What is the pawn? What is the over? What is the, because they all are so similar to each other. But when we are doing, we can clarify that it is on and it is a bow, isn't it? So there are many ways to learn and uh, we, uh, we can try to learn in any different, you know, many different ways. But we have a time, you know, limited time. So we'll go through, we'll check out another topic now. So, and we have another topic uh, here. The next topic is simply find complex concepts. Yeah. Teaching kids with, you know, um, catchy songs. Oh, so I, uh, being an English uh, language trainer, I, I have always seen many of the students, they always, you know, uh, find a lot of confusion. They're so perplexed with the, with the present tense. It's a simple present or a present continuous or a present perfect, or we can say present perfect continuous because there is always a sir sound with he and she. But telling this, it might not make us learn forever. Again, because this is a language, this is a not maths or science to understand. It is just to speak up and then our tongue should have the habit to speak. So, and what should we do for learning this? So I have an amazing concept of like learning in the music. Uh, let me tell you what and teach you for the music itself. So uh, first of all, let me tell you how it goes. He does, she does, it does. And then Ankita does. This guy does, that girl does, and every good one does. So this all are singular, okay? And third form, third person. So we are going to use sir sound. We do, they do, Ankita and Akash do. We are taking to both to two people name. You do and I do. So here we though they are singular or plural, but they are first, second person, and they are plural. So there we are going to use do sound, okay? Means no sir sound. So, but learning and understanding by this, it might uh, just, our mind can understand this, but our tongue cannot because tongue need that, you know, a uh, habit of speaking it. So let's try to learn with this, with this song. So how we are going to learn it? Uh, it goes like this. I believe you are going to enjoy this tune. And here we go. We dance, we dance, it does and keep others. This guy does, that girl does, everyone does. We do, they do, and keep our last card. You do, and I do. He has, she has, it has and keep us. This guy has, that girl has, everyone. We have. They have Ankita and Akasha. You have and I have. He is, she is, it is Ankita. If this guy is, that girl is, how we run it. We are Ankita and Akasha. You are and I am. He was. She was, it was and Tita was, this guy was, that girl was, everyone was. We were, they were, and Tita and Akash were, you were, and I was. So in this way, you can try to clarify where to use is a mar, wasn't mar, has an app, do, do and does. So I believe this would be the, you know, amazing way to learn forever. So uh, though you are in any age, but yeah, this must be uh, one of the entertaining way. Why to take the stress always when we can learn with the fun. So we have already one another topic here uh, on our screen. Okay, no, we can go with another topic on our screen. And this is going to be again fun. 
and this is going to we could say a uh, longest word of the dictionary teaching tough topics with the syllables and music you know what when uh, if you are a science student you might be finding it out learning all the longest words and you might must be like how to pronounce it and how to speak it out though any language really needs and, and when we are reading something when it comes a longest vocabulary so that time it we are so afraid of it like you can see here on the screen we have a um, number of longest word uh, and they are uh, numerology micro Microscopic cell called conchoniosis, hepatobilia monstrosa, hepatobilia phobia, supercalifragilis, trichotillodontous, anterior superficial mentorianism, fluxinoxin elipidification, honorificability, chidini tarbus, uh, incomprehensibilities, lenvai fulgangi gogoro ko jobo lanchi siriyo gogo ka, sasquipedalianism, sudo sudo hypoparathyroidism, anterior superficial mentorianism, dichlorodapyrumethane, and otorhinolaryngological. so they are mixed up with the science and uh, you know english language words and you must be like oh how to learn this word this r and how to speak it up even so th they are like they are so easy to pronounce it if we try it and you know once we know how to fly an airplane so we also know that how to drive the car and we can easily learn how to ride a scooter or bike because that's going to be easier for us so similarly once you know how to speak the longest word you are not going to afraid of any uh, you know uh, any uh, vocab which you are going to learn it first time because if i say that the other synonyms of wonderful fantastic magnificent spectacular now it just imagine if you have heard is spectacular very first time so you'll be like um, you like okay so this is the time i'm going to use this word spectacular and you decided you decided and one find them and you spoken wonderful Because you felt, what if I speak spectacular instead of spectacular? So for this, let's learn some longest word, which then we will never afraid of any other vocab. How difficult it is, though it is like uh, one of the synonym of spectacular is super califragilistic expialidocious. So I believe that you might be finding the super califragilistic expialidocious. So how we are going to learn it? Let's try to make a syllable by half and half. So like hippo, photo. monstro cis cupe delio phobia hippopotho monstro cis cupe delio phobia hippopotho monstro cis cupe delio phobia so we broke it we just try, trying to attach a well, half an half and then we are learning it and then we can try another one numono ultra micro scoping silico Volcano, conios, pneumono ultra, microscopic, silico volcano, conios, pneumono ultra microscopic, silico volcano conios, pneumono ultra microscopic silico volcano conios. Yeah, another word which we have uh, I have spoken before as well. So it is a uh, super, cali, fragile, listic, xp. Ali, docious, super cali, fragilistic, expialy, docious, super cali, fragilistic, expialy, docious. So by revising it, you can swipe it out as you're watching on YouTube. And if you go with this three, so you will be. I believe that you will be able to speak this fourth one also. Lanvai, fogwinger, gogarokoi, jabo, linti, celio. Gogo, Lanvai Fulguringa, Gogaro Kunjabul, Lanchasilio Gogo Ka, Lanvai Fulguringa, Gogaro Kunjabul, Lanchasilio Gogo Ka, and then you can attach all these words with a song if you want, and you can learn it by this. If you couldn't make uh make it with the syllables for uh for mine, because you know why I always prefer, and this is what we are hip hop for pedagogy. What I prefer song and music and uh rap and everyone does that. You know, maybe we are learning many Bollywood and Hollywood songs, but when it comes to student, what is the use of it? Though we are just it's it's just for entertainment, but it is not giving that uh, giving us a great diversion towards education. If we really want to give a great diversion towards education with all entertainment, with all fun, so let's try because that is something very important and crucial in our entire life. So now, how we can try? Eight. Hippopotamus, cupidelio, phobia, 
fit for future monsters with tepidelophobia. Nimono ultra microscopic silico volcanic coniosis. Nimono ultra microscopic silico volcanic coniosis. Supercalifragilistic XP Ali Doshes. Supercalifragilistic XP Ali Doshes. Lenvi, Fulgwing, Gogara Queen, Double Line, Cecilia Gogoka. Lenvi, Fulgwing, Gogara Queen, Double Line, Cecilia Gogoka. So you can seriously going to help it out and uh, I'm a director speaker, you can even see, like I have gone through and this is something such a wonderful, means they, they really loved the way I came up with this and this is just forever and you know, you just need to go with the four or five uh, words with the, uh, like this and then your mind will be in the habit of and then you will say any longest word, you'll just read it immediately. <laughs> so let's move to the next topic and our next topic is tongue twister. So uh, many times when we try to speak any other, any language and we, want, we try to present something confidently, um, it, it happens, we stumble, we stutter, we mumble. Yeah, it happens. Uh, though, though I'm a rapper and you can find it out that rapping is in me already. <laughs> I speak so fast and fluent. I just try, go with the calm, but I couldn't because it's... Um, it's my strength and weakness together. So let's try in this way. So what we could do is, let's try the shorter one and then bigger one. Let's not try that one of the biggest uh, paragraph and go through it. Just take one, one uh, like every day, one short uh, tongue twister. So you can see first one is here. If we can uh, minimize the screen so we can see all the um, tongue twister here. So first one is upper roller, lower roller. So you have to take care of the phonetics and phonograms over here. So it sounds like pop, 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 pop. So it's like upper roller, lower roller. So how are you going to do it? Upper, 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 roller, 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 lower, lower, lower. All the last R is going to be silent. Okay. So it's like, like it's, and then you are going to hold your breath and you're going to start with inhaling and then start with exhaling. So it's all up to you how fast and how fast you can travel slow. But right now, we will go with little fast because we are in the presentation. So it goes. You can do it nonstop. But the most important thing which we need to take care of for our office, phonograms. Ah, where to, how to pronounce it. What are the, uh, you know, silent letters where we have to go through it and we have to give a stress and not. Another was uh, tongue twister we can see here, it's Sam is P, so slow and sleep soon. So A and D, we can pronounce like uh, N, that's it. D is going to be silent. And like E and D is going to be always N, the N, because it makes a sense. But N is just a conjunction, so we are going to say just N. So Sam is speak so slow and sleep soon. So we can try to wear two Sam is speak, Sam is speak, so slow, so slow, and 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 sleep, sleep soon, sleep soon. And then we can try some six to slow, some six to slow, and sleep soon. And then we can try all together. First, you can go the slow, and then you can do it faster. Again, same with the inhaling, and then it goes like this. Some six to slow and sleep soon, 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 non stop. So give it a try. It can, uh, you know, give a clear, complete clearance and make it make your voice audible, and uh, it would be a uh, more presentable and. Every pronunciation would be would be crystal clear, I think. And then another, uh, and you know what? Let me tell you, tongue twister is something very, really amazing thing. There are the real um, people who are who are suffering from, you know, um, stammering. They they used to stammer, but when I taught them many tongue twisters, they don't stammer anymore. And then their parents come and they ask me that, why why don't you uh, you teach them in Hindi also? They said I'm like, uh, for me. Uh, earlier that wasn't possible but now it's possible for me now so they can do it so the tongue twister is one of the best part if you or your kid or anybody is stammering around you just suggest them tongue twister it is really gonna help them and trust me one fine day they are they won't stammer anymore <laughs> and here we go so another like not to another topic just just for us we have another tongue twister and it is that is a carry can can is a can of can again no we are not going on another topic ma'am let let it be. Uh, yeah, can you can can is a can is can again. So it sounds like a k k, and it is again a noise.
So it's like can 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 so I believe in when it comes to British, we use the sound ch. So it's like, if you notice this notice, you will notice that this notice is not worth the only thing. And if you go with American, I say uh, it goes with a dull sound. And if you notice this notice, you will notice that this notice is not worth noticing. So you can go in any uh, any way. Then we have little bigger, and it is again you have to go with the ch sound. It's like ch 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 ch. So if you're unable, you can go with the ch. So it's like. Butter, 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 so she takes down the butter to make butter, butter, butter. Trust me, if you go with the butter, butter, or butter, butter, so it it will be so difficult to, you know, go with the flow and speak like a tongue twister. Or you can go with like this, butter, 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 butter. Anyway, okay, so this is going to be, uh, this is really going to help you all to go fluent with any language in your presentation with full confidence. And uh, yeah, we can go with the next topic. And this is what, you know, our confidence that um, when we get, we get nervous, we get hesitate while speaking, when we stammer. So our next topic, um, let's move to the next topic. And it is going to be, I think, yeah, <laughs> this is going to be the last topic uh, of the day. So I believe before this last topic, I should talk to you more about it. Well, well, well. So as I'm in a rapper, I'm a rapper. So I make uh, the rap on any topic, you know, just imagine any topic. So if you give me any topic, though it's uh, it's about science, social, maths, anything. So uh, I can make, I'm an educational rapper, so I can make a, a rap on that. And this, this really helps me out uh, to go with the beat and uh, learn it more and enhance my knowledge. And this is going to help you out though, uh, because nowadays we are really imp imp uh, impatient and uh, uh, so for that, it is going to be wonderful. So let's take an end and it is like beats to beats. So we really enjoy it. And if you love music, you can go with the song and music. If you love rap, because uh, there are songs take a bit of the time, but if you want to learn so much in the flow, so rapping would be a great way to learn. And you have to go with the beat to beat, nothing else. So, but every time you have to go with the different beats, but yeah, slowly, gradually we, we get a touch and no, uh, no understand that, yeah, this is the way and we could go and you're really going to enjoy it by learning. You can re even record and listen to the recording again and again and you will learn it forever, man, seriously. So the, uh, one of the wrapping I'll share you today and it is like if you can see the picture over here is of water cycle, okay? And this is what we are going to see or the video upon water cycle. So let's play the video and let's check it out that how the rap goes and how we can learn in the rap. Here we go with the video. It's all upon water cycle. When the water goes up and it's come back down, is the water cycle going round and round? Water cycle. Water cycle. When the water goes up, it's evaporation. When it sits in the clouds, it's got condensation. When it's come back down, it's precipitation. This is the water cycle situation. Water cycle. Water cycle. When the water collapses in rivers and lakes. The next thing is just it's evaporate. When evaporation, sudden done, condensation is the very next one. Water cycle. Water cycle. When the clouds are full and the rest are to fall, precipitation is what it's called. Evaporation comes from heat from the sun, warms up all the ground water that is done. Precipitation water falls down, accumulation gathers all around. Water cycle. Water cycle. Evaporation water raising from the ground. Evaporation water raising from the ground. When the water goes up and it's come back down. Is the water cycle going round and down? Water cycle. Water cycle. 
What a cycle. What a cycle. What a cycle. What a cycle. So I believe that you have really enjoyed, you know, my <laughs> video, like, you know, the, amazing, the, the you know, what a second rap. And this is how we could go with any rap, song, music, body language. And you know what the reality is this, that we need to bring the education in our life. Just imagine with one sentence, if I could say, if you believe that cleanliness is next to godliness, so from today onwards, just try to bring cleanliness at your home and uh, you can start. That's called a practical knowledge. And this is how we could go. And then hip hop pedagogy is going to always make you learn with wonderful uh, music, song and rapping. So I could always say that, yeah, learn English swiftly. Yes, and this is how you can learn English or any educational things so swift. Thank you so much, IIU uh, in internet, uh, yeah, internship uh, university. You really, you are really doing an amazing, and this is a wonderful platform where all the educational comes and come up with, uh, you know, this incredible topics. We are learning a lot from each other, and I believe you all are learning too. So keep watching us. Nice connecting with you. Thank you so much, and don't forget to learn always. Before we comments. Bye bye. Thanks a lot.